this is Thriving Thursday on Facebook Live. My name is Bridget Cage, and I've just joined the Federation as the Training Support in Recruitment Specialist with RTC Project. Okay, I think I'm live now. Hi, everyone. It's Thriving Thursday here on Facebook Live. My name is Bridget Cage, and I've just joined the Federation as a Training Support in Recruitment Specialist with the RTSC Project. Today, I wanted to just do a quick check in, end of school year, say, we did it. Yay, you did it, congratulate yourselves. It was no small feat. I know that many of us have extended school year starting up next week and then concerns with the fall, but for right now, this minute, just breathe and congratulate yourself. You did it. The graduation celebrations have been wonderful to see and participate in, but I know and many of you know, the moments we celebrate can be missed by the untrained eye. We see growth in daily events, routines are created and followed, Potty training happens, first words happen, answering a WH question without adult prompting or with two out of five adult prompts or decreased in aggression or holding a pencil or holding a utensil. Your child is your world, but you have truly been your child's world since March 13th. We did it. Some of us did it solo. Some reached out to our villages and some of us found our villages that we didn't even know we had or needed. Congratulations are definitely in order. Pat yourself on the back. Uh, let's think about what we learned. What were some silver linings from these last several months? Um, we now know we don't have to travel to schools to do IEP meetings. We can just hop on a Zoom conference and there we are. Um, I think that there's some beauty in that to be able to see someone face to face. And there's some confidence that comes from sitting in your own house at an IEP meeting than from sitting in someone else's conference room. So congratulate yourself on, on doing all of those things. Um, <clears throat> some setbacks, we face them. Some of us face them better than others. Some of us presented on Facebook that we face them better than we actually maybe did. Um, but everyone came out and now we just have to be able to take that moment and live in it and be okay with things not being okay and be okay with being done is better than starting it over again. So for this weekend, take some time, breathe, congratulate yourselves, get some ice cream. Um, you really have done amazing things on your own and with your villages. Uh, we've heard a lot at the Federation, a lot of sad stories and a lot of um, triumphant stories. And we're proud of you. We truly, truly are. And we're here, you know, we know that this isn't over. We know that it's, you know, just the beginning of something else, but as special education parents, that's who we are and that's what we face anyway. So this is just one other thing. Um, I truly want you to know that you have a lot to be proud of. Um, and although there's no parade, no car parade for those of us who are parents, um, we would have to organize it anyway. So frankly, it's better that it doesn't happen. But I do want you to know and go back to the old saying that it's on so many mugs in teachers' classrooms. A hundred years from now, it will not matter your bank account, the sort of house you lived in, or the kind of car you drove. But the world will be different because you were important in the life of a child. The child may be your own. The child may be someone else's. But you truly have stepped up. And it hasn't gone unnoticed. And take a minute to congratulate yourselves. Take care. <laughs>